So one great form of exercise is teaching your dog how to run on a treadmill. It's wonderful for those really rainy days. Um, this treadmill here in particular, this is a dog pacer. This treadmill is designed for dogs because it's longer. Um, it has that little incline on it and it has this bar right here, which makes it really easy to put an attachment onto. So you can use a regular human treadmill. You do not have to use a dog treadmill. For years, I would just get a free treadmill off Craigslist and I would get my dogs to run on that, okay? So you don't have to have a fancy dog treadmill. I'm just a fancy dog trainer and I like fancy stuff, but you can really use anything, um, well, any kind of human treadmill. So uh, first things first, you have to teach your dog to place. If your dog doesn't know how to place, you can't teach them to run on the, on the treadmill. My opinion, place should be like the very first thing a dog is taught because it helps teach a lot of other behaviors, such as this and downstays and all sorts of fun things. Uh, but yeah, we want to get the dog to be comfortable and confident on a place. Yes. When the dog is confident in this command and comfortable with it, they can maintain it. Um, that is when I'm going to now introduce the treadmill as a place. Now, many of you may need to use a leash initially to guide your dog onto it. I am going to just use this little pull tab here, it's just a little braided, um, a little braided leather with a, a leash snap on it. So um, many of you will need to help your dog onto it with the leash to be some guidance. You're also gonna want some food, monster free. So place, I say place, I may need to lure her right onto here. She went right on, she's used to this. She's ran on here many times. So she's like, what are you doing, mom? Yes, but for most dogs, you might even have to put some food on here, but use the leash to guide them onto it. If your dog is a little bit worried, it's okay. Help them out with some more food, high value rewards. I've used peanut butter for this for a lot of dogs. So that way it helps distract them from being nervous. So I'll use some peanut butter and then I'll use the leash so that way they don't try to move away from it, right? Get them onto here, free release them off of it, okay? And then we do it again. Monster, come right here, come. Yeah, I'm just gonna help her on. Monster, good girl. Place, we get it right on, walk her up onto it. Yes, mark, reward, free, very nice. So when the dog is confidently, come on, man, free, jumping onto the treadmill like it's a place and wanting to stay onto here, just like Monster, yes. This is where I'm going to move on to the next step. So the next step is getting the dog used to the sound of the treadmill, okay? I'm going to get her off of it onto the place and then we'll let her hear it. The reason why I do this next rather than first is because it might freak the dog out at first and they might want to avoid this, right? Whereas if the dog's used to this object and just hears it while, it's ne while the dog's next to it, it's more likely that they're going to be more comfortable with that because they've already been on it. They already know what it is. It's not just some random thing making spooky sounds. Monster free. So I'm gonna go put it right here. Stay. Um, and I'm just gonna turn the treadmill on and it's going to move. And I'm just gonna get her used to hearing that because it does make some sounds. Some dogs are very sensitive to the sounds. Other dogs don't really care. Yes. If, um, if I have a dog that's a little nervous, I'm gonna be right here. Yes. And I'm gonna be paying them. Yes, as they're hearing the sound of the treadmill, this one's pretty quiet right now. It's actually normally a bit louder, um, but the dog is totally fine. Hey, you see that track? It's moving. You hear those sounds? It's making some noises um, and the dog's fine. That is where I'm now going to get them onto the treadmill and turn it on, okay? So I'll turn this off. Monster free. Good girl. Monster, place. Not that one, I'll help you. She's like, I think I'm supposed to go this one. Come on, baby. Good girl. Place. Very nice. So I get my dog onto the treadmill here and you're going to want some kind of way to hook your dog onto here. Okay. And then I'm going to be right here next to my dog, helping them through this process because your dog's probably going to get nervous at first. It's normal. It is something new. Anytime the dog is introduced to something brand new, there's going to be an element to nervousness or stress with that. As long as we keep it short and sweet and the dog ends with a good attitude, we're good. So this is just going to be a very quick thing. With your dogs, I would make it super fast as well, just a few seconds of them and, and of moving onto the treadmill, just getting that walking motion, okay? We're not running yet, we're not pushing the dogs. It's just, oh yeah, it moves now. Good job, you're done, okay? So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna be right here with her. Yes, if I had a brand new dog, right? This is where I would be, I would be helping them out, yes. And if the, that dog was moving very nicely, like she is, I'm gonna get the dog off of it. It's very likely your dogs might be like, oh no, it's moving, and go limp, 
right? That's a very normal thing. That's where I might just support the dog until they do a couple steps. Then I'll turn it off and then we would be done. Monster free, just like that. And I always release the dog off the front of the treadmill, okay? Not off the back of the treadmill. This way they understand the flow and how it works versus I'm just going to put the brakes on and I'll eventually get off that way, right? So we wanna make sure the dog's getting off here. So we'll do another one of those. This time we're gonna increase some speed. So let's say you've been doing that with your dog and your dog's now starting to get confident with it, moving at that really slow pace. We're gonna increase some speed, okay? Monster. Are you hanging out with Nate? <laughs> she, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna hang out here. Good girl. She's like, I'm getting tired. Monster, come. Good girl. Place. Get her right on the treadmill here. Good girl. She's gonna walk right up to here. Good job. Hook her up. Turn it on. Good. It's going. At this point, your dog is confidently walking. Yeah, I'm gonna relieve this. They're a little bit too tight right there. You don't want it to be that tight. There we go. And now I'm going to increase the speed just to a nice walk, right? If your dog's walking really nicely like this, perfect. Have them on here for five minutes, maybe 10. That's where I would definitely cut it off, take them off and you know, let them relax, okay? Um, over time, you can work up to your dog running on the treadmill. After they're very confident and comfortable with walking on it just like Monster is, you can start to increase speed. Now, some dogs, if you start to increase speed too much or too fast, they're going to um, be at the very end of the treadmill and going to try be putting as little effort into it to follow the track. That's where you definitely wanna go slower with those dogs. There's other dogs out there, they will be running at the edge right here or right at the very top. And for those dogs, I turn up the speed. I actually have some dogs that will try to do it themselves. They'll actually whack right here. Usually uh, Huskies, I had one, his name was Dandy. He was obsessed with it. He would hit his paw on it over and over again. Uh, but yeah, eventually you can get your dog jogging. This one here, you can have like little programs set to it. Um, other ones, you can set the incline and change it around. Good girl. Good girl, but always watch your dog when they're on the treadmill. Never leave a dog unattended on a treadmill. Good job, baby. Nice job. So as you can see, she's super confident. This is a good speed for her. Um, maximum amount of time I've put my dogs on a treadmill for, I would say is like 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I typically take them off. Every dog is different. And I'll go ahead and shut it off. Good girl. Very nice. And then unhook her and then release her. Monster free. Now, plenty of dogs can run without this eventually. She definitely can. In the beginning, I would have this on them just in case they try to jump off this way or try to freeze up and fall off the track. Um, but over time, you don't even need this on here and the dog can go on here and run. All right. But yeah, that's how you teach your dog how to run on a treadmill. Super useful behavior to teach. I recommend it to everybody. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support the channel, of course, as always, hit that join button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.